We mark the death on August 19, 1929, 95 years ago today, of the Russian impresario, patron, art critic, and founder of the Ballet Russe, Serge, or Sergei, Pavlovich Diaghilev, in Venice. Born in the village of Siliski, roughly 75 miles southeast of St. Petersburg on March 31, 1872, he was 57 years old when he died. Movers and Shakers Serge Diaghilev was one of the great movers and shakers of all time. In a letter to his stepmother written in 1895, the 23-year-old Diaghilev described himself with astonishing honesty and no small bit of prescience given the way his life went on to develop. Quote, I am firstly a great charlatan, though cambrio, meaning vivacious and spirited. Secondly, a great charmer. Thirdly, I have any amount of cheek, meaning chutzpah, moxie, nerve. Fourthly, I am a man with a great quantity of logic, but with very few principles. Fifthly, I think I have no real gifts. All the same, I think I have found my true vocation, being a patron of the arts. I have all that is necessary except the money, but that will come." Unquote. Serge Diaghilev's audacious and spectacular career was intertwined completely with the audacious and spectacular career of one Igor Stravinsky, 1882 to 1971. Without the Agulev, Igor Stravinsky would never have become Stravinsky, the enfant terrible of Western music in the years before World War I. Without the Agulev, Stravinsky would never have seen his career reborn and finances recover after the war. Conversely, Without Stravinsky, Diaghilev might have made his mark, but not his legend. Consequently, I have decided to dedicate this post to not just Monsieur Diaghilev, but to his discovery of an ongoing relationship with Igor Stravinsky. Please join me for this Music History Monday podcast, which can be accessed on all podcast platforms or enjoy the illustrated, full-text, ad-free version of this blog and much more on my Patreon channel.